they're, they're favourites for this, favourites indeed to, to, to win Leinster. They are. Um, they've had a very good spring league campaign, obviously winning the National League title and made a lot of progress under Jim Gavin. What's really interesting, and we were looking at, always wondering all, all year what was going to be his championship team. Uh, what's really interesting is the Dublin team won the All-Ireland two years ago with a very young team. And yet there's a lot of new personnel on board. You know, he's brought in Caffrey, Darren Daly, Paddy Andrews has been brought back. Mm. You have Kieran Kilkenny in. I think there's only nine or ten of the starting team that beat Kerry in the All-Ireland final are playing. So a big transition. And, you know, obviously Jim was a, a former teammate of mine and uh, what's interesting, he was a half back to, or a half forward that used to go back and work and yeah. dig out with the defence. But this team is all attack and very entertaining to watch. And what has impressed you most about Jim's team? I suppose that very positive attitude, like every, ball, every player he has selected is comfortable on the ball. You know, the backs are able to get up, encouraged to get up the field as well and take a score. All the forwards do their own score and, you know, all, all capable of kicking points from all angles, both feet. So it's been very positive, I suppose, compared to what we've seen from other teams in the last few years with blanket defences. And I suppose that's the big question for later on the summer. Can they go all the way being so positive or is that a bit naive? I think for me, I, I met Jim um, just after he was appointed and from what we've seen, he has the courage of his convictions. Mm. It's very easy for, for boys or managers to stand up and say we're going to do a certain thing. Like I sat down with him over, over a cup of tea and he just told me, this is, we will play football this way. That's exactly how the, it's, it's manifested, you know, they're mm. playing and they're, it's very open, it's quick, it's aggressive, it's, it's pacey, they've paced the burn all over the park. Mm. As, as Colly said, if, if they can go the whole way playing this, it, could, might, it might buck the trend of how football has been played. All of a sudden we're back playing football, in my opinion, the way it should be played, you know, through the hand and through the foot. And, uh, you know, to date, they are the form team. But what about Kildare? Because Kieran McGinney has brought in quite a large number of under-21 stars, uh, very talented footballers. Will Kieran McGinney be there much longer? Is he under pressure? I think it's unfair to say he's under pressure. I mean, gains are all relative. He mightn't have won a trophy, but when you look at what was there before he took over and, and the state of Kildare football from underage, underage up, I mean, they were losing to Loud and Cavan and qualifiers. Last year hurt a lot, and I, I think after being hammered by Cork in the quarterfinal last year, they would have looked back at 2010, 2011 as missed opportunities, and they were gone. This year, is, it's a brave move to bring in so many young players, but I think he had to take one step back in the hope of taking two steps forward. And that's why it's a team in transition and it's, it's a little worrying for Kildare going into Sunday because there's so many question marks from they've been switching the keeper, the full back line, there have been question marks, Eamon Callaghan's in at six, Daniel Flynn is now in midfield. Can Tomas O'Connor get any change out of O'Carroll on the edge of the square? Um, can they create goals, which they didn't look like doing against Offaly? So there's a huge amount of question marks. And in fairness, they've been consistent with in, under McGinney, quarterfinals, yes, semifinals the whole way. Mm. But this but year, I think they'll probably be further off Dublin than they have been at any time. So in a word, I know you're uh, a Kildare man, but in a word, Kildare or Dublin then? Oh, Dublin by five or six, I'd imagine. Really? Yeah. The first game, uh, in, before I move on to the first game, uh, what do you think, in Dublin or Kildare? Dublin. Dublin. I, I don't need to ask you. No, 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 no.